A stylized eye graphic forms, text an eye to the future. A man wearing dark glasses, Steve Sparrow, performs in a recording studio. Well, I just can't sleep. We've been jamming all night. So I'm actually a musician, singer, songwriter. I also have a recording studio called Sparrow Sound Studio, which I've been running for many years. I also work for a radio station in town, the 4RPH, Radio for the Premier Handicapped, and I do a lot of their production work uh, part-time as well. It's been really a big part of my life, 4RPH. I've been doing it for oh, maybe more than 25 years, and it's only been the last three or four years that it's actually turned into you know, a good little part-time job, so it's been, it's great. Can't sleep. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. I've got a diploma of uh, audio engineering and I'm also a guitar player, so I, I did have a number of guitar lessons and singing lessons in my early days. And a lot of the audio stuff I just picked up by sort of tinkering around in the bedroom, in the family home originally, and I was just obsessed by guitars and audio equipment. If I, if I wasn't doing it for money, I'd be doing it for a hobby. I just really like working with people as well. Uh, in my work, you're always working with different artists and, and musicians, and it's just a lot of fun being able to get a bunch of songs from an artist and they'll, they'll bring me a bunch of stuff and they'll say, look, how do we turn this into something that's really cool? And I love it. It's just so much fun. Talk to me, lady. Just a little moment to see I use the VoiceOver screen reader, which is a part of the Mac system, which is the same screen reader that you'll get on the iPhones. I have a braille display, which is sitting over here, and that is imperative to my work because uh, in so many ways, you know, I'll either be, if I'm recording a vocalist, then I'll be taking notes on what I might want, what worked, what didn't work, and I use the braille display in, in so many ways. Job Access have been brilliant in helping me in the last few years. They actually purchased this control surface for me. Steve moves sliders on a mixing console. I was very fortunate that my, my mum and dad were very supportive of what I did. They assisted me in many ways um, and gave me a lot of support and, and advice. And without them, I, I don't really think it would have been achievable with, without some, at least some sort of help in that way. I also uh, have my wife, Karen, and she assists me a lot in getting around to uh, a lot of my performances. Yesterday is a memory. I've got uh, about three or four projects on the go at the moment and quite a few things I'm about to start, so there seems to be no shortage of, of work in that way. I also have a couple of albums out and my current album is called Paint Your Cactus Green which was one of my songs and a couple of the songs off that album actually got into the country music charts which was good and, and got to, one of them got to number one which was really good. I do find getting around to a lot of these music festivals and just being seen at different events and just being around tends to generate business because people, you, you do make connections that way. I also play in a lot of the local uh, clubs and pubs and stuff like that. That's sort of like your bread and butter money musically. So if you really have an obsession with something that you love, uh, of something you can do well, then you should try and put 110% into it and do as much as you can to make that something that you can work with because if you do that, you can often get great results and something that you're really happy with. Sometimes you've just got to try to maybe get out of your comfort zone a little bit if you can, and you, you might need assistance to do this. With them. It's very difficult to do it just on your own. That's what he said to me. If you can work out what it is that you want to do, then life is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Text. Thanks to Steve Sparrow at Sparrow Sound Studio. Learn more at eyetothefuture.com.au. This project is brought to you by BCA thanks to funding received from the NDIA via the 2019 Economic Participation of People with Disability Grant.